In this video, I drop a GPU, I drop a power supply, and I play a game. This is a Dell Optiplex 790 that cost me 10 great British pounds. And in this video, we're going to be shoving a graphics card on it and seeing if it can run some games. So when I first saw this thing, I saw the Core i5. I was like, yes, I'm having that. And also, let's have a look what's on the inside. Oh, that, that is a tiny power supply. It has got a CD drive. It is a laptop one, but it'll do the job. Look at that CPU cooler. That is a weird one. All right, so the plan today is to turn this into a gaming PC. By shoving this Vega 64 graphics card in, which is the equivalent to a GTX 1080. Already by looking at it, the slots are, well, they're like half the size of this. So what we're going to use is this thing. This is a PCIe riser. So literally shove that in there and then shove that in there. And then we might need to shove a separate power supply to this. Then we should be good to go. I think that's it. Now what we can do is we can connect the big display up. I mean, so far it's not making any weird noises. Oh, it's just turned off. Why has it done that? Are you going to post? Yes! Oh, it just powered down. What? Might be a dodgy power button. Is it working? Yes, Windows 10. I didn't even know there's a hard drive in there. This thing's coming off. And it's in a foreign language. What does that mean? I'm, I'm guessing it means wait or something. I don't know. Right, you know what? Should we just turn this off and take the hard drive out and shove an SSD in it? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm, I'm guessing that's German. How does this come off? It looks like... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, there's the odd drive. 250 gigabytes. What does this do? What? I'm so confused. How, how do I take this hard drive out? Everything's in the way. Let's unscrew the power supply and then, then we'll, we'll see what happens. Why is this one stiff? No, I'll just leave the screws there. Alrighty, so screws are off. Does the power supply come off? Are you going to come off now or are you just going to... I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, we should probably take the graphics card out. That might help. Uh, we might as well disconnect this because we're not, we're not going to use the CD drive, are we? Probably shove it in my laptop. Well, the hard drive's there. Do we take the hard drive out, or should we just put the SSD in without taking it out? That might have been easy. Wait, yeah, why don't we just do that? All right, I'm, I've, I've just done all this for no reason. All right, we're going to leave the hard drive in. We're just not going to connect it. You know what? Does it need this? All right, so SATA cable. These two. There we go. This is all we need. And now let's get our SSD. That's for AMD CPUs only, but I don't think it matters anymore. Shove you in there, and then shove that there. I should have probably used this one so it looks a bit better. So now we've, we've, oh, now we've got the SSD installed. Look at that. Should we just take the whole front cover off? Oh my God, that is a bit, that's a bit dusty to be fair. Is there something wrong with the power button or something? It keeps turning on and off. I don't know if it's the power button or if it's, it's probably something internal. What we're going to do is we're going to shove the big graphics card in now, which is about 10 times the price of this computer. How, how are we going to hold it? Should we, should we get some... I mean, we could just leave it down here, but that might be a bit jank. So what we're going to do is we're going to shove some cable ties off and then hopefully, I don't know how well this is going to work because there's literally a groove right there, which it might come out and then the graphics card will slam onto the table. Oh, there we go. Look at that. You know what? That, that's actually, oh, now we need to hold it up here. Oh, no, it's come off. Yeah, look at that. We might need to daisy chain some cable ties. I mean, to be fair, this was probably faster than the first computer I've had. We definitely will be, actually. Right, so I've literally just taken this 400 watt power supply out of my other computer. The graphics card connector's in, so... Oh, we should have probably done this first before we cable tied it. And because this only has one graphics card connector, I did a bit of DIY. This was just a six pin, but I added these two. Well, it's 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 not done the it's not really soldered on, but as long as it holds, we should be fine. Also, I would not recommend doing this. I would recommend actually finding a power supply that has the right connectors. But for this video, we should be fine. All right. So now, because uh, this graphics card does not have DVI, we need to get a new monitor. So. Now we have this new monitor. All we need to do now is get this HDMI cable. Look at that. You know what? To be fair, them cable ties are holding it on. So now from here, we just have to locate the green and black cables, which are them two. And then we pretty much have to get, get some wire or something and connect them both together. So all you do, if I remember correctly, is shove that in there and then... Yeah, there we go. Look at that power supply spin. And then we just turn this thing on. Uh, is it going to post? That's not spinning, which is not a good sign, but why does it keep turning off? Yeah, we should have probably checked if it had any issues before we put the graphics card on it, but that's fully secured. Get this power supply on. All right, now let's turn this on. This fan isn't spinning for some reason. It recognizes it's on. There's power getting to it. So I've just found out how to take out this hard drive bay and all the other stuff in here. And I've noticed it has one RAM stick. So, I mean, let's have a look at it. Oh, you know what? I don't even know Kingston made. Right? Oh, hyper. It. Hello, what? <laughs> someone's been drawing. Um, d d so someone's been been trying to draw w Windows logo. Yeah, look at that. There we go. All right, 
this is four gigabytes of RAM. Not sure about what speed it is. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this RAM from that other 20 quid computer that I made that video on. And these are four gigabytes each. So this should have 12 gigabytes of RAM now, which I mean, it's better than what it had. And I also found this laying around in my drawer. This is a 1200 watt power supply. I mean, I've, I've found the cables for them. So we're going to take this one out and we're just going to swap it over with this. I know it won't fit, but we might have to leave the power supply out. Actually, no, let's just leave that power supply in there. So it looks like it's literally... Does it just slide out there now? Do we take this off? Oh, it looks like you push this down. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Oh my god, come on. Do I have to take the motherboard out? Surely not. What's it stuck on? Yes, all right, we're out. So now that that power supply's out, we can plug this new one in. There we go. Realistically, this thing doesn't need a 1,200 watt power supply, but... All right, so now we just have to connect everything up. Uh, we can leave this dangling now. We don't really need to put that in. Now, this one says VGA on, so I'm guessing that's the CPU. But you know what? We'll find out. Oh, wait, this only has a four-pin CPU. What is that going there? Then? Oh, well, it fits. So should we power it on or will it blow up? You know what? Let's try it. All right, let's plug this big beefy power supply in to turn it on. All right, power supply's on. Now let's turn this on and hope it doesn't blow up. Nothing's happening. Did we already blow it up? All right, guys, I'm not even joking when I say this, but I swear I saw smoke coming out of this computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this power supply off to one side. Hopefully I've not fried it. Oh, wait. I might... Oh, no. Oh no, this connector's really hot. I think I might have genuinely fried the computer. Hopefully I haven't, because if I fried it, then... All right, so we're gonna shove this, shove this power supply in, turn it on, the fan's spinning. Is it gonna post? I don't think it's posting. All right, come on, second time on. How about we take up the RAM we installed? Let's 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 try that. That might. All right. Well, we've probably fried it, but we we might as well check the condition of the thermal paste. All right. So we've sort of killed the motherboards. I've ordered a new one, and well, we're gonna see the condition of the thermal paste that's in here. So let's first unplug this fan head of. <laughs> Does that come off? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. You know what? The thermal paste is a bit crusty. And look at that. That is that is stuff. So it looks like the air gets sucked up this way and then blown out there, which, I mean, not the most effective, but it works. We might as well wipe the CPU whilst we're here. There we go. Look at how clean that is. All right, so now all we have to do is take this motherboard out and put a new one on. But I don't have it yet, so we'll be right back. All right, so it's been a couple of days and now I think the motherboard is in here. Let, let's just open it. Oh, hello. Is it in an anti-static bag? I don't think it really matters but no it is not okay hopefully i ordered the same motherboard because I, I didn't really check if it was or not i, I just looked at it and then it, it looked the same so i think it looked does it look the same yeah that should be the same apparently this motherboard works so all we have to do is take this motherboard out and then just put this one in so let's just yank all of this out i'm just gonna pull these cables out and then it's just literally now we just pry up a few cables all right so this is the i5 2400 but i've got a 2400 s here so i don't really know which one's better all right so now that's done we should just be able to lift up this motherboard now it should come out yeah there we go i sh should have probably took the front fan out we might have to do that to remove that i'm gonna Guessing. Oh my god, that is really dusty. All right, it literally just pulls out. A lot easier than I thought. Oh, never mind. It's stuck. Am I meant to get this? <laughs> yes, fan is out. There we go. And if you want to buy this motherboard, then, you know, the eBay listing will be linked in the description below. Now we can shove the new one in. They look identical, so we should be fine. Let's slot it down first. Okay, the back is in. Everything looks like it's been lined up. And now we can just screw it down. Oh, wait, is this off the plastic clip at the top? Yeah, it is right. I could probably glue that on then. Should we get some RAM in? You know what? Let, let's Let's, let's put the original RAM stick in. Hopefully, this RAM is still working and it's not broken. We might as well replace the thermal paste on the cooler. So the old thermal paste has been wiped off. And now we're going to replace it with the cheapest stuff on eBay. This costs about one pound a tube. There we go. Put you on. As long as it covers the centre bit, we should be fine. Now we can put the cooler back on. Make sure you slot it. Now we can tighten it. It says one, two, three, four. So I'm guessing that's where you're supposed to tighten it. Now that should be secure. Uh, we can plug the fan in. Most of the front dust has been wiped off. All right, now we should be able to slot it over at the front. There we go. Look at that. Now let's plug this fan connector in. And now everything's back together. We're just going to get the original power supply and do a test run to see if it turns on. I really hope the RAM hasn't fried itself. Now we just get our GPU, slot it in. Oh, I've just accidentally threw the SATA cable onto the floor. We're spinning. Is the monitor going to turn on though? Come on. Yes! Oh. 
It's just shut down. Yes, all right, screen's on. We haven't broke anything. Well, except from the old motherboard, but so let's turn this off, if it turns off. The power button's not plugged in, is it? All right, let's turn that off. There we go. All right, so we got the big power supply back out. I shorted these two pins, so literally I just need to press the button at the back and it turns on. So now this is on, we can get the graphics card and then put this on. That is quite big. So now that's like that, we can get some cable ties and then mount it to here. We could probably mount it up here here somewhere and then let's get a cable tie up here oh god oh no right we're gonna plug the power supply in and then hopefully the power cables can hold the cable tie in place so it doesn't slide off so now what we can do is we turn this power supply on and it gets power look at that and hopefully this time the computer doesn't blow up and now we need to replace this monitor because it doesn't have any hdmi or, dis or display port connectors so now we can get this HDMI cable. Let's turn this power supply on first. And then we can turn this one on. It's not plugged in. Now we can plug in this power supply. Turn the graphics card on first. And then this one. Come on. Oh. Yes. Yes. This thing now was a Vega 64 strapped onto it. You know what? I might try my RTX 3060. People, so what I've done is I found a thicker bit of wire. I've shoved it into the two connectors that will turn this power supply off. Hopefully it stays on and does not cut out. Now we can just plug the keyboard and mouse in. All right. It doesn't recognize what graphics card it has yet. And now we connect it to the internet. You know what? For how much does this cost in total? About £110? This was about 90 That was... No, £100. Ignoring the power supply, this is about £100. You probably get a smaller, cheaper power supply that will get you, like, what, 20 quid? As long as it works, that's all that matters. Well, CPU's already at 100%, so... Oh, RAM is also... You know what? We've shoved a GPU in it. We might as well put some more RAM in it, so I'm just going to shut this down. I don't know if I've already mentioned, but these RAM sticks are, are removed from a computer I got for 20 quid. So we're just going to try and squeeze them in. That RAM's in now. There we go. Now that RAM sticks in. So we can turn this on now and we should have 12 gigabytes of RAM. Let's see how much RAM we've got now. 12 gigabytes of RAM. Look at that. Well, the screen's just turning on and off, so I'm assuming the drivers are... Oh, there we go. Look at that. We're now running in 4K, I think. Let's also have a look at Task Manager, see if it recognizes it. So, yes, it does. All right, so now that we have this thing fully working, we're going to see if it can launch BeamNG Drive. So far, so good. Not crashed yet. Nothing's happened. I'm hoping this works. So far, it's not responding. I think it's just launched. We might have to change the monitor setting slightly because it is running in 4K. Actually, yeah, let's, let's try and... Yeah, all right. I, I don't think this will be able to run it in 4K. All right, let's change it to 1080p. So this will be like about what a normal monitor size is. Can it do 1080p BeamNG drive? Graphic... Let, let's put the graphics on normal. You know what? Full screen. This thing sh will be CPU limited, not GPU limited. Bit of lag. You let, let, let's load this thing up and let's see if we can at least try and drive a car around. It's gone black. Has it crashed? I think it may have crashed. Might have to put it in low settings. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. It's got 12 gigabytes of RAM. It should sort itself out. It's actually just killed itself. Why have you done that? Right, let's turn it off and back on. All right, we've booted back on. This time, let's try and launch it in low settings instead of... All right, this time, low settings, lowest. We'll adjust it when we get in the game. It looks terrible, but there you go. We're getting... <laughs> I don't know how well you can see the FPS, but... It's it's saying about I'll say an average is about 30 FPS on low setting. You know what? It, it is better than my salary I used to have, but what traffic violation? Oh, it is a bit lumpy, but let's up the graphics. Let's put it on low instead of lowest because we, we need we need some texture in there. If it doesn't crash, come on. I don't think it's gonna do it. Ah, it's crashed. This thing can't handle BeamNG Drive very well. I reckon if this thing had an i7 or something similar, it, it would it would play it in, like, low settings or maybe even normal. So now we're going to make it play the most computer-intensive game, Agario. I've never played this game on a computer before, but I remember playing it on my iPad when I was, like, 12. So far, so good. I mean, it's, it's got used to it. Let's, let's, let's see how it's going in Task Manager. Yeah, I mean, 8% of the GPUs being used and about 30% of the CPUs being used. I thought i5s were better than this to be fair I, I thought they were i thought they were quite good but you know what it depends which one you get oh these things make you explode don't they and unless you're bigger than them you can start eating them oh let's try and eat this one nope okay that did not work well at least i'm a lot quicker now i'm i'm lagging i'm not moving oh yes come on big one big one big dog big dog oh, no <laughs> what's that is not the tactic i was trying to use no not me no no oh i've i've been killed by a dime bag wait geometry dash is online bit high memory we're completely fine gpu barely hits eight percent can I get the free trial of 3D Mark? Because I don't want to pay $34. £29.50? Pirate. <laughs> it's starting to download. Should we just stop the fan on this, see how hot it gets? Because realistically, I'd... Ah, 33 degrees. Let's... No, stay. 
Stay. St stay. Stay. Oh, that's quite a strong motor. Oh. Oh, got, got a bit of play in this section. So if you want to move your computer, I wouldn't really, wouldn't really trust it. All right, yeah, well, we're gonna wait for this and we'll be right back. So now we have 3D Mark downloaded. Let me just um, rename this. There we go. We can open it up if it loads. Okay, and the benchmark is going. We're getting about 16 FPS. GPU starting to make noises. It's, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, fan going on full now. The GPU is actually very warm, getting about 15 FPS. A load of hot air being exhausted from the GPU. You know what, I can make a hand dryer with this. You know what, a thousand likes and I'll turn a computer into a hand dryer. Oh, has it crashed? Oh, loading the results. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Legendary! Graphics driver is not approved. See, I tried to install the graphics drivers, but then it said doesn't support this computer. The hottest it was at is 77 degrees. So now that we've benchmarked the GPU, we're going to try and stress test the CPU and, well, see what score it gets. All right, so now we have Geekbench installed. We're going to just run the CPU benchmark and let's see what score it gets. <music> Single core score is okay. It is a bit bad, but I mean, the multi-score core is Fine, I guess. All right, so now we're gonna see what will happen if we unplug the SSD whilst it's still on. I mean, don't do this to your normal computer. Should we just plug it back in? Oh, okay. So we're probably gonna leave that there. So that's been this Dell Optiplex. Let me know what else you want me to do to it in the comments below. Thank you people for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see you next week. Transition.